Welcome, you are in the Wager Talk studios seeking an opinion on the Chiefs Buffalo matchup or Kansas City Buffalo matchup on Sunday afternoon. I, I'm I'm not gonna take a bunch of time, a bunch of energy breaking down what makes this game all Kansas City or Kansas City's to lose or Allen's to win. But if you've heard it once, you've probably heard it a hundred times. Uh, this weekend will be Kansas City Chiefs quarterbacks Patrick Mahomes' first, first ever since he was had his Arrowhead birth, since he's become a, a Sunday staple outside the confines of Arrowhead Stadium for the first time, first time ever, right? A postseason game away from home. It, it's not. That's not accurate. Unless, unless the Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium has held three Super Bowls in the last five years then he's played a postseason game away from home, right? Not a true road game. I understand that. Not one that's in a hostile environment or has crowds that are begging to climb the walls and eat in zombie fashion the Kansas City Chiefs. Maybe comparable to or the optic of the dog pound in Cleveland. And that's, I'm joking. Just kidding. He's, who live in the dog pound, by the way. Um... I am right. If I am right, and you've heard this more times than necessary to remind you again, then just throw that information to the curb. Toss it. Swat it like it's some malaria-infested mosquito uh, that's perched on your virgin skin. Get rid of it. This Chiefs quarterback is not playing his first road playoff game. He's playing the first true road game, but it's in front of a, it's a cold weather game that where, the, where it's difficult for the crowd to be what it is in September or October. It's going to be different. There'll be some, something said, something yelled, something heard by Mahomes and his mates that don't sit quite right, but that's, that's nothing they have never experienced before. Um, he's played three games away from Arrowhead. Mark it inaccurate. Toss the information away. Do not let it envelop you or dictate your assessment of this game. The postseason history between these two is as important as whether Kansas City's defense is good enough to outscore the Buffalo offense or prevent them from scoring more than Kansas City can score against a bad, a beat up, an injury wrecked Buffalo stop unit. The variable that that comes into play here is decision making. Is that the history between these two is crazy? It's mayhem. Something goofy is going to happen. It always does. And until proven otherwise, it always will. Whether it be a, a bad decision, a bad read, maybe uh, t holding on the ball too long, trying to go through the progressions on a slow moving or a slow, a slow progression of a deep route. Kansas City's off a solid win. They beat Miami for the second time. Don't let people tell you that it was weather-related, that the Chiefs won because Miami was playing in Kansas City weather, vice versa, whatever the case may be. Remember, these two teams met in Germany across the pond earlier in the season in a game that was essentially the same thing. Kansas City wins and won in the same fashion by holding an explosive offense to almost nothing through the air on the ground. There's a little doubt. In my mind, and there should be a little doubt in your mind that Mahomes and company will be playing under more stress, a circumstantial stress, Sunday in Orchard Park than they have or will during a regular season game, or half, for that matter. Or Mahomes has played in past road games during the postseason. Um, he hasn't been unsightly away from home or inadequate or inept. He threw, he completed 70% of his passes on the road this season, a pretty good number. 38 and 11 is his road record in his career. The most wins by a quarterback in the last 50 years in his first 50 starts. 38 and 11. That's impressive. On the other side, see Josh run, see Josh score, see Josh ramble for 52 yard, 52 yard touchdown in all his glory. There, as I mentioned, there's a madness that comes along with this Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills contest. It's inevitable madness and mayhem. Again, unforced errors, missed reads. What's going to be presented to us on Sunday is different than what's been presented between these two teams, the backdrop between these two teams in years past. You've got a great quarterback, a great quarterback, Josh Allen, one of the best in our generation, with one of the best receivers of the same generation. 
Both of them, I believe, Hall of Famers. The Diggs, the, the, at least the Allen to Diggs connection is much more dynamic than, than the Mahomes to Rice connection. Again, not, not Jerry Rice uh, for those uninformed. So let's just say the obvious. Buffalo's offense, head and shoulders better than the Chiefs. In the same breath, Kansas City's defense is legitimate. Head and shoulders better than what Buffalo is going to present and push in front of Kelsey, Mahomes, and Rice this weekend. Um, we go back to uh, we we'll go back to a week, the first month of the regular season, when Buffalo lost a couple of All Pros defensively. In between those two losses and last week and Sunday's loss, where they lost another linebacker, another cornerback. In short, without having to name every all the players that they've lost defensively, they have two remaining starters from what started the season on the defensive side of the ball. Yes. Uh, and to compare what Buffalo is bringing to the field Sunday defensively compared to the, the 2021 defense. That, and you'll remember this defense, and I'll remind you by comparing, with the, reminding you of the game, Mahomes and the Kansas City offense, what they did. They went 44 yards, what, 13 seconds to put butt kicker, Harrison butt kicker, in a space to make a game-tying 49-yard field goal that minutes later was found Buffalo losing a 50-50 coin flip. Chiefs get the ball in overtime. They go down the field. They score. They win. Send Buffalo home. Uh, considering the, that circumstance, considering that defense and all they had to do was prevent Kansas City from gaining 30 or 40 yards in two plays, or uh, they couldn't do that, that's what you have this Sunday. So which one's going to be better? Who's going to make that bad decision? Is Allen going to be the same Allen? He's been in these games in years past. Is the Buffalo defense that bad? I say they are. I don't say they're that bad. They're that beat up. They're, they're, you got a second-string defense against Mahomes. And I don't care who's catching the ball or running the ball against Mahomes. Allow me to start the steam in motion, to set a strong position. Chiefs plus the points over the total. In upstate New York on Sunday at Orchard Park, again, the Chiefs plus the points over the game total in Orchard Park against the Buffalo Bills. I'm Tony Fenn. I love doing this. I'll see you again soon.